Hello guys, uh, Glenn Anderson here, the natural strongman. So um, today's week one, day two of my brand new accumulation block for 2023. So the first day was a pressing session and today's more lower body focused. So I'm just starting off with some um, hamstring curls. This was the third and final set. Uh, just light, lightweight really. This is just to prep for deadlift. Um, so I'm going to be doing snatch grip deadlifts and I was kind of like dreading this really because this is the death set This is the deadly deadlift ladder that I'm going to be doing soon. So it's a snatch grip deadlift. So just doing my warm-ups here um, So the deadlift ladder that I'm doing it's going to be 10 sets You start off with one rep then you rest then you do two reps and rest and three and all the way up to ten so the weight, the amount of weight you want to use will roughly be about 60% of your snatch grip. My best snatch grip deadlift is 280 kilos. So 60% is about 168 kilos. So I decided to use 170 kilos just to round it off. So here I'm doing my third and final warm-up set at 140. I'm keeping the reps low because I want to conserve my energy for the brutality that is about to follow. So here we go now. This is it. So 170 kilos, I'm using a mixed grip on the first one. 170, boom, there's the first rep. And I rested about a minute, and now we're on round two. Uh, this time I elected to use straps. But notice I'm still not wearing a belt. So that's two reps, so that's, what, that's that one done. It all starts off nice and easy, but it progressively gets harder. It's kind of like doing levels on a video game, really. You know, it starts off easy and then progressively gets harder and harder and you, until you just can't keep up. So that's three, and that was okay. Again, still not wearing a belt. Um, I spoke in a previous video about how in training you want to try and make things um, harder than normal. Another way that I've done that and all is I'm deadlifted now with a stiff bar. So it's a stiff, crappy bar rather than the nice deadlift bar. So a stiff bar is a bit harder because there's less flex in it and it just doesn't move that well. So a stiff bar is good to use in the off-season. So when you start peaking again, you can go to a deadlift bar and it's a lot easier. So we're up to five now. Um, now, obviously the goal is to complete ten, which I managed to do. Uh, but depending on how conditioned you are, some people might struggle when they get to five or six or seven. Um, it all depends. In strongman, you have to be good at reps as well as um, singles. Because in a competition, a lot of times it's going to be a deadlift for reps. When you get good at de doing these deadlift ladders, reps in a competition will feel like nothing. Okay, so we're on six now, and I've started using the belt, as you can see now. And the reason for this is because I didn't really want to get too much much of a back, back, back pump. Uh, I did this about two weeks ago using 180, and I only managed to get to nine. And I didn't wear a belt at all, and I just had a crazy back pump afterwards, really. And I didn't really want to experience that again because it's not very pleasant. So here we're on seven. Some idiot thinks it's a good idea talking in front of me. There's plenty of other places he could have walked. He didn't need to do that, but I don't know. For some reason, he felt the need to. Big tripod there, so he can't say he didn't know I was filming, because I was. It was quite obvious. So here we go. This is eight. Uh, this started getting really tough. Um, the first six or seven weren't too bad, but eight did start to get a bit rough, to be honest. But um, I still pulled through. Now, I think the reason I succeeded today where I failed last time is because when I did it last time, I didn't know what to expect. And also, I tried to like bang the reps out really quick. Whereas today, I've tried to be more relaxed, more calm, and just gently try to get through them and take my time a bit, and it did help. Uh, so the key to making this work and getting the ad adaptations is to make sure your maximum rest time is three minutes. So with these, my maximum rest time is three minutes. When I did the first rep, I think I rested about a minute. When I did the second rep, I think I rested just over about a minute about a minute 15 with the third one i think i rested about a minute and a half by the time i got to the fourth and fifth reps my rest was up just over two minutes and by the time i got to six or seven i was resting about two and a half minutes by the time i got to the eighth set i was taking the full three minutes um, 170 kilos is lightweight for me. It's not the weight that's an issue. It's the fact that I'm just doing so many sets of high reps. This type of work really does gas you out. And despite the fact that I wore a belt, I still managed to get a bit of a back pump anyway. However, um, very happy to complete this. When I did the 10th um, rep, I actually felt like I could have got 11 there. 
So although it was really hard work, I'd say it was to an RPE 9. I did 10 reps here on the final set, and when I finished it, I did feel like I could have got 11. My form probably would have broke down, but 11 was there. So there we are. I'm very happy to complete that now. I ain't going to do this again in a hurry. Uh, for any of you that are thinking of trying this deadlift ladder, I will warn you it is brutal. And now I've got a big graze on my leg where the bar's been scraping up my leg. That's the result of doing 55 total reps, not counting the warm-up sets. So I've got a nice big red uh, graze now on my leg where the bar's been um, going up my leg when I've been doing the deadlifts. So after that, uh, we're moving on to assistance work now. Uh, so I'm doing... The safety bar squat, I've just moved the pins there because the bar was a bit too high for me. So going down, trying to hit roughly 90 degrees there. Uh, safety bar, uh, good mornings, dead stop to pins. This is a very good exercise. Uh, it's actually my first time doing them, that's why I started with 70 kilos. I didn't want to go too heavy on these too soon. I've never really done these before. It's been a lot of years since I've done a normal good morning. And when I did do that, I did it with a barbell. And I hated it, to be honest. Uh, so this is my first time doing dead stop good mornings with a safety bar. And I've got to admit, I actually kind of enjoyed these, actually. These weren't too bad. It is kind of endurance, having to do three sets of 12, really. Um, I didn't like that aspect of it. I'd rather do lower reps, but it's week one, so I'm starting off with light, low weight, lots of reps, just to get into it. I will be increasing the weight on this next week. Um, on the second set, I did 80 kilos for 12, but I didn't film that. So third and final set, I went up to 100, and even at 100, these were still feeling quite light. So with when you're going to do these... Uh, in my mind, I'm trying to imagine that I'm locking out a deadlift. So when I come off the pins, I'm trying to squeeze and engage my glutes, and I'm trying to imagine that I'm locking out the top of a deadlift. Um, I'm strong off the floor with deadlift, but lockout is a weakness. So I'm trying to use these in a, as an assistance, but to make these have the carryover, in my mind, I try to imagine I'm locking out the deadlift when I um, when I drive. So here, I'm stopping dead stop, and then I am imagine I'm locking out a deadlift at the top. So um, hopefully, if I do these uh, dead stop good mornings in the same vein, then hopefully that will have the carryover that I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, like I say, even at 100 kilos, nice and easy. So I'll definitely be up in that next week. I think next week drops to 10 reps. But we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll probably start with 110. But again, gradually increasing it bit by bit as time goes on. Um, lap machine pull downs behind the neck. So I'll start with 33 kilos, 15 reps. The good thing about lap machine pull downs behind the neck is they do um, help with your mobility. Um, there are a lot of guys that actually can't go behind the neck like I am. Um, so I think I've actually got some good mobility. Some guys can only go to like, to like the top of the head uh, if they're lucky. But um, these are really good exercise to do. Uh, three sets of 15 here. Um, 33 kilos was ridiculously easy, so I upped it a bit. On the second set, I did 47. And then on the third and final set, I did 47 again for 15. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, again, these are quite light, but it's my first week, so I'm not pushing it too much on these just um taking it nice and easy okay so um moving on there um single arm chest supported row machine just two sets of 20 reps each hand so uh the first set i did 30 kilos each hand and this second set now i'm doing 40 kilos in each hand um no challenge at all really, nice and easy, just like the lap pull down behind the neck, uh, just using light weight really, high reps, um, just get a bit of blood flow, it's the first week so I'm just keeping the weight light but I will be upping it in the coming weeks. Uh, when I do deadlifts I always try and uh, program some vertical and horizontal uh, rows, so uh, the pull downs um, I did for the previous and then just these chest supported rows for the horizontal and then moving on some arm work i haven't done bicep curls for a long time actually so on the first set i actually used five kilo dumbbell and that was ridiculously easy uh, the second set was six kilos and then this first set seven and a half and again even this was easy really uh, but it's the first time i've really trained arms directly for a very long time 
but I'm going back to doing that now because you do need strong biceps in strong man and strong forearm. So I'm going to start incorporating that back in now. So just 12 reps each, each hand really, and uh, I'll be looking forward to upping this next week. To, uh, this week, like I say, a lot of things are light and all that because it's just a taster session really, just to see where I'm at because I'm doing some exercises I've either not done before, like the safety mask or, or some exercises like this, for example, uh, that I haven't done for years and years. Uh, but it's good to um, go back to some good old exercises again, and I've got to admit I do love these. So... Um, yeah, just just some light low assistance work to finish off. And then last thing, I always like to finish up on a bit of grip. Sometimes I'll, I'll do dead hangs, in actual fact, more often than not, but I thought I'd do something a bit different today. Since I was doing deadlifts, I thought I'd do some more, so just a Reeves deadlift holding onto the bumper plates with fingers. Okay, so uh, that's it for the video now, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you soon for the next video.